So let's start with the definition of the adverse drug reactions. So adverse drug reactions are the harmful and unpleasant reaction resulting from an intervention related to the use of a medical product which predicts the hazard from the future administration and warrants prevention or specific treatment or alteration of the dose regimen or withdrawal of the product. Usually, uh, they can be divided into six types. And we'll use the mnemonic A, B, C, D, E, F to remember the six types. So let's start. The first one is uh, type A reaction. So uh, we can remember it using the augmented, which is starts with A. So these type A reactions are the dose related reactions. Uh, like the adverse effects, uh, they can occur at either normal dose or overdose. We can take some examples like uh, serotonin syndrome or anticholinergic effects of the tricyclic agents and nephrotoxicity uh, from aminoglycosides and the bleeding due to the use of the anticoagulants like warfarin and the hypoglycemia from the insulin. So type A reactions or the augmented uh, drug reactions, they usually occur due to the dose related effects of the medicine. So there's a, then let's go to the type B. So type B, you can remember it as a very bizarre type of the reactions. Uh, they are non-dose related reactions. Even a single and very little exposure uh, might be sufficient to cause the reaction and any exposure can trigger the reaction like example for example you can take allergies or anaphylaxis reaction to the antibiotics or any other drugs similarly the aspirin induced asthma these are uh, non-dose related reactions so we can uh, so type b is a bizarre type of reaction so uh, let's go to the type c reaction so this type c reaction it occurs because of the uh, dose and uh, these are the dose and time related reactions and uh, this type of reaction they usually occur after the chronic use of the drug or because of the continuous use of the drug for a long period of time so, uh, for example <coughs> uh, adrenal suppression with the long-term use of the steroids paracetamol hepatotoxicity after taking paracetamol for a long duration due to the cumulative accumulation in the liver causing hepatotoxicity so these are the type of the reactions uh, which occur because of the continuous uh, use of the medication or for the chronic long-term use of the medication. So you can remember um, this group. Type C is chronic continuous. So next uh, group of the adverse reaction is type D adverse reaction or you can remember it with a uh, as a delayed reaction. So uh, these are time related reactions and they usually occur after the prolonged use of the drug and may appear after many years of the treatment or uh, and they can occur even after uh, stopping the treatment like uh, it can occur many years after stopping the treatment some of the examples include dyskinesia uh, from the antipsychotics like bladder carcinoma after treatment with the cyclophosphamide these are the examples and next group of the drug reaction is type e drug reaction or the for this uh, you can use the mnemonic end of the treatment e it starts with e so these are the withdrawal reactions which occur after ending the treatment or after stopping the treatment for example uh, there can be the features for example opioid withdrawal or uh, with some medication there can be rebound or relapse phenomenon like with the ppis uh, when you stop ppis um, after a certain after the after using it for certain duration then there will be rebound acid hypersecretion uh, causing the symptoms so these are the types of the type E reactions or the end of treatment reaction and next group is the type F reactions uh, you can remember it as a failure so this type F reactions usually occur because of the failure of the therapy so for example what happens in this situation is that when a drug is used for some time uh, the efficacy of the drug might increase or decrease uh, leading to the various uh, adverse effects uh, which fall under the type F for example uh, decreased effect of the antibiotics due to the uh, resistance or uh, in some drugs after the repeated dosing or after using medicine for a few days or for after some doses then the dr uh, medicine may start to be less effective which is known as tachyphylaxis so i think with this mnemonic a b c d e and f you can easily remember the types of uh, 
drop reactions so thank you so much subscribe to our channel for more videos